I'd been on their trail for months, ever since they left their hideout in the Bighorn Mountains. Led by Butch Cassidy, they were a loose association of outlaws who robbed banks and trains from Colorado to Montana. Among them was the Sundance Kid, and that murderous hombre I was tracking, Roscoe Bob Bryant. Were you a part of that giant Pinkerton posse after the Wild Bunch? No, boy. A circus like that would have slowed me down. Besides, I wanted Bryant all to myself. I'd heard about a large shipment of gold being transported to Wilcox, Wyoming on the Overland Flyer. They blew the bridge with the intention of forcing the train to stop. I was determined to make that some bitch Bob pay for what he did to my brothers. I found the device they used to blow the tracks, so I knew I was headed in the right direction. My ears are still ringing from blowing up that bridge. Well, I made my Ooh, way off unscathed and came upon a few members of the gang and had no choice but to dispatch them. From there, I had to negotiate an even more precarious route. First, I would need to get my ass out of there. I jumped from the frying pan into the fire as the train was clearly fixing to fall. I had found the gang, but in order to find old Bob, I needed to fight my way forward past a whole passel of desperados. Outside, inside, any way I could, I made my way towards my prey. And what about the passengers? It was mostly a freight train, as I recall. There were no passengers aboard that day. As I mentioned before, I am not fond of heights. But I was too busy dodging bullets to worry about falling to my death. Odds were I was likely to die that day anyway. So I was determined to take down as many of those bastards as I could. At times it was like shooting ducks in a shooting gallery. The only difference is these damn ducks shot back. I kept hoping the law would show up and give me a hand. Man, like that giant Pinkerton posse that I read about. Did they come riding in, guns a-blazing to help? Help? From the Pinkertons? <laughs> no, son. I had to fight the Wild Bunch all by my lonesome, as usual. Who the hell is that? He's on it! God damn you! Get cover! Retreat! Retreat! I'm gonna 
Sizzle's dime novels didn't portray this as it happened, did they? But only a few stragglers were left, and I had to cut them down pronto if I was gonna stay on old Bob's trail. Once I silenced all those guns, I went searching for my nemesis, determined to finally have my justice. But the only survivor who welcomed me was George Flatnose Curry. Who was he? The fastest gun in the gang. Right after Sundance, I mean. And Kid Curry, and maybe Elsie Lay. Though some folks might dispute that. On that very same day, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid decided to leave the Wild Bunch behind and decamp for South America. They ended up living down there for many years, but I'm sure you already know all about that. <laughs> 